hello so i wanted to come on and leave a video review for this crock pot that i purchased just want to say i love it it's definitely getting five stars for me it is amazing this is my second time using it and what i have in here right now is a chicken breast i the last time i cooked in here i put two chicken breasts they cooked perfectly. Um, I haven't cooked too many meals, but I will be. But what I really love about it, one, I love the lid. I love that the black inner pot right here comes out of um, the base. That's very important to me. It comes out. So if let's just say we had leftovers, I can put in the refrigerator. This is what it looks like in the front. And one of the things that made me want to get this is because I live in the city of California and it's my goal to live semi off grid. Um, I started this journey a little while ago and I'm so glad I did because look what's happening now. We have inflation, prices are going up on everything, including utilities. So when I purchased this, one of the things I wanted to do was make sure that it wasn't too many wattage because I wanted to use it with my EcoFlow solar generator. So I can show you guys really quick right now. I'm going to turn this on. And right now, okay, I have 94% and that's just because I had cooked with it um, earlier and I haven't charged it. But I'm going to show you really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right over here to the side and plug that in. And then for it to work, I need to just hit the power button on that side. So right now, if you pay attention right here, there's nothing coming up to show that, you know, there's no watts or no power coming from here. But when I turn this on, so I'm going to put this on low, right? So now you see this crock pot only uses 63 watts, 63. And this Eco um, generator, this is the Eco Flow Pro. And I'm trying to think, how many watts is this? Is it 700? I want to say it's 700 and something watts. So my goal, and it's saying right now at 63 watts. I can cook in this crock pot for 11 hours before I completely drain the generator. And so with the chicken breast, even when I cook two chicken breasts, and I think I had it on high, it only took us three hours. Well, I just timed three hours because there's no timer on here. But look, I'm going to put this on high, right? And at high, we get to 111 watts, and it's saying that it would take six hours. So if I was to let this run for six hours, then I would use all the power in here. But I think I had it on high when I had cooked it, and the first time with two chicken breasts, and I just times it for three hours, the chicken came out perfectly. But this time I had my daughter, I think she had it on low, and we just i just told her let's just go three hours again but either way part of the story is this is amazing because not only does it cook well um if you were using solar or you know if you were just want to be more cautious about um the grid and utilities and you know all that good stuff then this is just a good purchase like this is amazing i love it it cooks well um I don't know what else to say about it, but other than it's just, it cooks really good. And because it's small, it really doesn't take a long time to like heat up and get things going. So that is my review on this. And I like it a lot. I'm thankful. I'm very glad I purchased it. The whole lid will never seal. It doesn't seal whatsoever. It just kind of floats on there and eventually it starts boiling over everywhere because it doesn't have any way to fit in there properly. Look at the air gap. See it? That's what you get. Both sides pulled this side.